welcome back so in this chapter we are going to learn how to deploy a local system application to your cloud azure web app okay so i have created a simple website which is just pure html there is no any specific runtime environment needed for it here is just an index page index.html and home page that's a home.html so I just created two, two different different pages so I can explain you more. Okay, so here is my local website. You can see here, here is just an images folder which is the me logo and my two pages which is purely in HTML. Okay, along with you can say boot a reading link. So not any specific environment needed for them. So what I want, here is my website. And uh, if I uh, explore this website, so you can say browse this website so it shows me the default page uh, like assigned by azure i want this website should be here okay so what i need first i need to download this publish profile as earlier i told you just go into overview window there will be get published profile just click here in this file just open it with a notepad in this file you'll get your all this is your publish url where you have to upload it and uh, this is your username where is that username just find out in this file here this is your username or ftp name you can see and this is your password encrypted password that you need to upload your local system file to the azure so now you have multiple options as we we will cover almost them like deployment options from github you can say using filezilla you have many options so in this first lesson of deployment i just want to show you filezilla so filezilla is just a ftp uploader which is very useful and very used by worldwide okay so what i'm using here's my filezilla installed in my system okay you can download it from you just go to google and find out find filezilla you will automatically edit just download the filezilla client okay so after installing this filezilla you have options to set your host name username password and quick connect this is a local drive and here's your server which is not connected okay so from this publish profile i am going to copy this publish url copy host name username uh, here's my username copy paste and here's my password so here's my password encrypted password let me copy it and just paste click on quick connect you can save this credentials for like future users if you don't want so do not save password okay so if you are using internet connection so it will automatically try to connect by this domain and it will get the default repositories from this url as you can see here in this right side window you have a page in this default folder triple w root folder which is hosting start okay so what i am going i am going to delete it first i want to delete now let me go back to the previous url that was here that was working and let me refresh this page again you can see here you don't you do not have permission to view this directory of pages because you don't have any single page over there now what i need to do i need to open this folder i'm just copy the url of my site folder and we'll go to my filezilla and we'll open this file so here's my old folder and files just drag them after selecting and drop at the right side window or you can just press enter so you file transfer successfully let, just, let me just check whether my image is there or not you can see your image is there okay so come back to now over your browser and refresh it now let's find you can see here your website is working perfectly 
you deploy successfully from your local computer using FileZilla over your Azure server. You can see here you can navigate to the different page as well and it will allow you to navigate to different pages. But the point is we was using two pages in my site folder home page and index page. Okay. It allows by default index page to be the default document of this website. Why not home.html? So stay tuned for the next chapters. After deployment options, we will discuss it first how to set default document or how to configure it in application settings. So after all of deployment options, we will go and we will cover this how to use your diff like application settings or uh, default domain, custom domain default document and many more okay Thank and if you want to get more technical books you can visit this url bbbonline.com and you can directly buy from amazon also so if you want any kind of book just go there and visit this site and don't forget to subscribe our bbb hub youtube channel for such a great videos thank you